All right, this is the beginning part to a quick guide for modifying files for SCORN. All right, so first things first, since it's in the real game, we got options that we can set within the engine.ini file. And right here, well, the shader should warn you to read the help file. And if you do get the read the help file, search for the game Scorn. And it will tell you that the version of reshade that was used at the time of making the profile. And if you need to use an add on or extra information. But in this case, we do need to use the latest reshade version, the add on version. And the add on used is the shader top. Put that right there. Um, So let's go to the folder in your app data local score. So let's go to that folder. So let's see there. And I want to search for scorn. Save, configure, Windows no editor, and engine. Let's edit that. You don't need a fancy editor. All you need to do is just copy these settings. So, paste those there. This is for depth of field. Um, motion blur and the quality of the blur for motion blur to disable it. I think you can disable it inside the game. You don't really need to disable it here, but it's convenient to disable it here. Um, screen color fringe, that's for chromatic reverberation. Uh, the tone mapper uh, quality set to tree so that you can disable the film grain and max anastrophic anastrophy uh 16 times so that's fine um you don't have to do this last one it's just something i do uh we'll save the file uh close that some people will actually Set it to read only. You can do that here. It shouldn't hurt anything. Uh, once you do that, close that. And uh, let's get Scorn ready. Uh, let's install Reshape. Just download the latest one, which is the add on version. Um, you get that from here. Click on download. Click on this one. Click OK, and it will download the add-on version. I don't need that, so let's uh, not do that. Okay, so let's download, I mean, let's run this. I'll say that warning again. Um, click on Browse, and you need to find your EXE. Uh, that's fine. It's a 64-bit. Remember that. Hit Open. Next. Install. DirectX for DirectX. Next. Uh, that's, uh, for this one, I already have it installed, but for you, click next, click Super Depth 3D, that one, but that's, uh, that'll be another guide. Skip this for now. Uh, yeah, right here. So you'll select that and you can unselect this and click next. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to skip since I already have it installed. Finish. Um, now you need to go to SCORN where it's local files, we'll click browse, click on engine, binaries, no, 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 I'm wrong. Click on SCORN, binary, 64-bit, and you see here there's a DLL. I already have, uh, Overwatch in here. I just need to grab my shader really quick and just drop it in there. You wouldn't have to do this once you, if you install it from the installer. Uh, so there, that, that's, uh, that's good. So now remember how it's a uh, 64 bit now you need to download the shader toggler made by franz boma or yeah okay click on this uh links will be in the help file so don't worry about that and we want the 64 bit version which will be the top one. open that up and we just need to grab this shader toggler drop it in and now we just run the game
tutorial here. It's not going well. And we don't have to enable shader yet. See the add-ons here. We're just going to increase it to go. Because I have not ran this uh, before. So we'll find out if it works or not. Continue. I'm going to continue with my game. The shader toggler is what we're looking for is a very specific uh, shader that we want to disable. <coughs> All right, it's that outline shader for that device here. <coughs> Ooh, let's do it. Click on new. We want to edit this, and we're going to switch this to one. Wait, on the perfect tree, control one. Okay, we're going to name this active outline. Hit okay, and now we're going to click on change. All right, now we have the shader, and now we just search for that specific. You see, things will be disabled as we select them. The developer didn't really put an option to disable the outline, but we can do that ourselves. You have to go through a bunch of them to you find the right one. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, you have to hit 1 and 2 to for the shaders, and for vertex shaders, uh, 4 and 5. But once we find a specific shader, I think I found it. There it is. Uh, one eight one in this case, we hit 3 to save that one. And we'll click on Done. So now, we'll save all toggle groups. I also have a link to download this specific uh, this specific fix. So you don't have to do all this. You just have to like install it. We'll start up Super Depth 3D. Uh, we'll switch that up to like 75. I don't know. That's good. good enough depth. You can raise it higher, but I, I, to me, 75 is already really strong. Well, that's for me. Now we have to just press Control one and that specific shader is done. You still know things are active because you still get that little white little thing, the ball. So you go down there, everything should like work. Um, in the future, we're going to have UI separation and I'll come out later. So oops, uh, the game should work fine, especially since we disabled all the other like motion blur, chromatic reverberation, all the other effects should still be intact. There's no more film grain, should be pretty clean and a pretty fun and optimal experience. All right, then. Um, I don't know what to do from here. It kind of got stuck at this puzzle. I think I have to get the, I think I need to get that thing that comes out of there into that thing and into there. Um, yeah, about that. All right. Thank you and have a nice day.